a lot of people are trying to convince themselves that they are a loser. Mm -hmm. You try to search for reasons why you are a loser. You try to prove this in front of other people or mm -hmm. your relationship that you are a loser mm -hmm. and you just are committed to to staying that way, to limit yourself. Yeah, and if you are still going to talk to you like you are a loser and you don't do anything right and you're still doing something wrong and so on, it's highway to hell. It's not giving anything to you. It's not giving anything to your environment. Uh, it does the opposite. Nobody wants to be around you. Nobody wants to talk to you. And especially it's really tough to be next to you when you still talk to yourself like this, especially when you s say it out loud. So we had a certain situation like this in the morning with Raphael and he also did meditation and he was very upset about what situation are we in now and we already shared it in the previous videos and uh, you know and i said hey, if you would be a millionaire you would be still having these emotions and we have to deal with the emotions because in case you are having millions of dollars you will still find a reason how to feed that hungry dog of that anger or, or sadness or whatever your or frustration or whatever you uh -huh. have, anxiety or anything it's gonna be still there you know no matter if you buy 10 cars if you buy anything in the world you will still have those situations that will haunt you and we know it and when i was 17 i tried to escape something and i was uh, going to america for studying in a high school and anyways even though my parents were having big problem in their relationship i was not having my parents there and my family was okay but i was still undergoing the same emotions you can't escape that you are dragging uh -huh. it everywhere with you so if you want to talk to you that you're a loser it's not going to help you and it's not going to create anything in your life which will be positive it's mm -hmm. gonna just pull you down yeah it's gonna delay your future mm -hmm. what do you think it does to you when you talk to yourself like this <sighs> yeah it, it sometimes comes that i really start to go into that spiral where i talk badly about me and how i'm not good enough and i don't do this well and that well and and mm -hmm. uh, I'm not worthy to to have uh, anything. Mm -hmm. and Me it's, too. It's I am weakening. also like this. Everybody it's, does have these moments. It's weakening my body. It's weakening my mind. I can't focus on my future then because all I, all I want to do is solve that problem, that feeling. Okay. I want that feeling to go away. And now I have a little recipe for you how to work with this, okay? let's say we are partners and if i talk like this about me because i do sometimes how do you feel say how you feel about me how i'm talking to you then i feel how frustrated talking. that you talk to my woman like this mm -hmm. that you talk down, down how, do you, to how else do you feel i feel also angry mm -hmm. and frustrated mm -hmm. and like that's not what i signed up for mm -hmm. and it's exactly how your body's feeling you know, you can ask your partner, oh my gosh, when I talk to you myself badly in front of you, how do you feel about me doing this? And you observe that your, your person or your friend or your partner talks to himself or herself wrongly or badly, and you feel very upset and nervous and frustrated and absolutely like i am very stressed about that when rafael starts to do it i am absolutely insecure you know i lose like i am very insecure i feel a lot like you know you name the emotions you, you know? feel the emotion which i am feeling yeah yeah mm -hmm. i feel like that because it doesn't make me feel good when my partner t talks like this and it's basically mirroring what happens into you, in your body so mm -hmm. try this you know if you talk to your if so, you see somebody talking to a dog or to an animal really badly 
you also don't feel uh, good you feel angry at that person that that person talks wrongly about uh, somebody or to that animal and you want to save that animal and that's happening to you every day on a daily basis mm -hmm. so try this technique it's really working and remember this technique we will be remember making you remember it all the time in these videos but save that animal save that body mm -hmm. because it's your body and it's uh, the best body you will ever have mm -hmm. in this lifetime there is nobody more nobody who loves you more unconditionally than your body mm -hmm. what do you say it's never worth it to talk down on you to mm -hmm. make yourself smaller mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and if i could you know he talks badly about himself and i can just run away from him and i can go shopping or just have a nice day for myself but the body has to be with him right it has to suffer like i can't you. walk away from it walk away from the it the body can't walk away from you mm -hmm. and you know <laughs> your animal can't walk away from you either because uh, so it has to endure that so mm -hmm. have a little compassion and love for your body and uh, try to play with it a little bit differently than we are used to because i also do this i also do this mistake that sometimes i am like oh my gosh we'll we'll just do more of this and more of this and then i feel frust like i clean a lot or something and then i am very tired and when i tired i get very emotional and talk badly to me and my body can't run away from me uh -huh. you know Mm -hmm. So what does it do the body when you talk wrongly to it and it can't run away? Okay, it's gonna manifest something, something not nice. Mm -hmm. And if you will start to talk to it nicely, what, how could it feel? What can it manifest? You and know? it will go deeper down that rabbit hole. It, like after you talk badly to yourself, you're not gonna all of a sudden talk well to yourself the next day you're just going to continue in that and it's going to get worse and worse mm -hmm. until it's really extremely hard to lift yourself up That's wait why they can talk to themselves immediately or in this moment but positively nicely. yes yeah. exactly exactly so why can't they do it next day it's not happening automatically when you start with this spiral it's uh, naturally going the Negative feelings will cause negative thoughts and the negative thoughts will cause negative feelings and this is automatic mm. This doesn't need our attention our awareness our consciousness So it goes automatically. Yeah, and it takes conscious awareness to start to talk positively or watching this video and Reminding you mm -hmm. that you have a body and that's your body and you're not allowed to talk to it badly because it's your best buddy Mm -hmm. would you talk to your best buddy like that oh my gosh you're so fat you're you're ugly you're absolutely disgusting how can somebody say this to their body mm -hmm. of course us ladies sometimes when we are emotional we can say something which we can regret later mm -hmm. but we will have to remember because i would have to watch this video like 50 times yes. to remember so. and it's always like if you have a, a pet if you have a dog or a cat and you imagine you would talk to them like this you wouldn't do it you you wouldn't be able to get it over your heart mm. but with ourselves we often forget sometimes we even wouldn't talk to our partner like we talk to us yes of course mm. Mm -hmm. so make your body want to love be in your presence mm -hmm. and just be nice to your body. Your doesn't body. have to be perfect, but do it again and again. What and do you say about perfect? You will feel it. Perfect? That it's not instant. It doesn't happen instantaneously that you start to feel better. It is? It can take longer. It's taking conscious decision every moment. Mm -hmm. And if you decide in the now and only in the now not next five minutes or tomorrow or you know yesterday but now then it's always very easy and comfortable if you decide in this moment because only thing which you ever will have 
is this moment mm -hmm. so that's what you meant and he says the correct thing it doesn't have to be perfect it is mind talking you know it is the judgment and all these things you don't have to judge if you talk to yourself nicely five percent or hundred percent if you do teeny weeny nicely talking to you it's still nicely mm -hmm. and it's not ugly it's still nice it's on a nice side so it doesn't matter how crazy rainbows you want to in or curls you want to you know you want to experience surround you in i mean, I mean in words uh, but it's just enough if you are willing to do this and you are aware and you are grateful for this what do you have uh -huh. hmm? i had a, yesterday a very bad uh, experience because we were in a pool and it was very wet there and I almost fell on a very bad stairs covered with water and I slipped and I very badly hit my leg but I uh, Raphael caught me and if he would not be there I would probably have really like I'm not even saying what could happen to me and in that moment I realized oh my gosh sometimes I'm saying such a bad stuff about me my life and my body and I should really be grateful for that I can every day walk or I can breathe or I can see this and I can just experience sun or anything anything what you could do every day it's just not not for sure that tomorrow is another possibility mm -hmm. because in the second it could have changed and of course if you are very positive and if you're like you know in these higher energies they will always always protect you mm -hmm. there is not going to be happening too much bad stuff in your life if you were going to be on the on the good side on the tiny tiny good side but you start to appreciate the things that you have you start to enjoy yeah. the present moment and I'm worship it I woke up today and I'm like, oh my gosh, what happened yesterday to, to me, I really am so grateful that I am having like just some bruises and so on, but I didn't fall because it could have had really bad results. And now I'm just being grateful that mm, every day is is this possibility to be comfortable and safe and and so on mm -hmm. for my body of course because my body is my vehicle in here so i can just decide and i can walk over there or i can walk to get make me coffee or something and it's not for sure you know you can mm -hmm. but it is our birthright and we are trading it for some nonsense emotions which will never yes. matter Mm -hmm. No, nobody will tell you nobody will meet you for coffee or so and say so how are you hating yourself today so tell me all about it I want to hear how bad you were today to you mm -hmm. no so do you want to add something no it's really it's again don't do it just start to speak positively catch yourself remind yourself and if you do catch yourself that you speak negatively oh my gosh how long do i want to do it and don't be bad to you that you're catching yourself you're actually doing great mm -hmm. because you already ca caught yourself mm -hmm. before you couldn't do that that's the tricky part you always mm -hmm. have to be compassionate and loving towards you mm -hmm. because if you're then beating yourself up for for doing it you're in the same cycle again yeah but if you imagine and analyze it a little bit who are you talking to and who is talking to who and you know and who is beating up you who imagine that you are mind your mind uh, your body your soul so who is beating up who or who is talking to who do you know who mm -hmm. who the mind mind so mind is bad to the body mm -hmm. and soul is never bad to anybody soul might be asleep or the heart you know mm -hmm. might be closed 
just analyze it. Oh, I am talking to myself that I am fat and ugly and not worthy of living or whatever. But if you, like, who says that? Who says it? Mind? Tr somebody who, who not I the heard? Mind. The mind is not per se uh, bad. Mind is a tool which we get to use, but when we don't learn how to use it properly, mm -hmm. then it can become our enemy. Mm -hmm. It can ruin us to get to extremes, to make really big mistakes in but, life. But in a total, you, the mind says this, and mind is only a record of the past, of you, what you have experienced, what you have heard, and mind knows only words and life is beyond words mm -hmm. everything what is important in life you can't put into words you know so remember that yes life is beyond words that's just such a small part of life that we experience in our heads and we think that's all that exists mm -hmm. It's uh, so small, it's it's nothing in this life. What? Life is greater than this. I think that the things that count are never about the words, you know? If you have some... And our life is so loud, the, the mind is so loud, it still comments everything. So if you get a chance to have like a little quiet time it's worth so much more because it's it's the life because uh -huh. you don't comment it and it's the quiet and you just are yeah you were saying that sometimes that how nice is it to look at a tree and not label it as a tree mm -hmm. if a no child is is mm. coming to this planet and it's just looking at things and they always have their eyes super wide open and they're just gazing into nothing and they're experiencing something and we look at it we see ah that's a tree that's and maybe this kind and it's done finished tick mm -hmm. you know for us it's safe and for the mind it's just uh, comforting so okay i don't have to deal with this but if you think about it it's not a tree it's everything because if you took that tree and put it somewhere else it would not exist you have to have it there where it's growing because there are microorganisms and some energy and plants and waste product and water and everything. It's just synergy. It's mm -hmm. never just a tree, you know, but we call it a tree, mm -hmm. right? It's funny because the words are not limiting. The words are imperfect, as he said, doesn't have to be perfect. You, if you don't put it into words, yes, you will be always perfect. That's actually what I meant. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we got there anyway. That we don't strive for, this is how it has to be, this is how it has to look at the end. Mm -hmm. No, it is, it is as it is and you're loving towards yourself. It's great to have intention though, mm -hmm. but maybe if you are quiet, it's just good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So enjoy this video. And I bet that after watching this video, you're definitely better buddy with your body. Yes. I am. <laughs> Thank you for being here.